Hey guys, there's the T51 recall on the Ram coming 6.7 liter engines that just came out November 1st. I'll put some links in the comments uh, to the Mopar site if you want to go and check your VIN number to see if you're involved in the recall. And also I've got some links of more information on the actual recall. But it involves just about all of our uh, 2500s all the way up through the 5500s. Uh, there's about a half a million trucks involved. And it covers 2013 to 2017 with the uh, bill dates of October 24th, 2012 all the way up through February of this year, February 28th of 2017. If you want to check and see if your truck is, is in that range, you can look on the door on your driver's side and it'll give you the bill date of your, uh, of your vehicle. So this recall is concerning the water pumps on our, uh, on our Cummins 6.7s. And uh, it's with water pumps that are made by a company called Concentric, which uh, is a um, company that builds water pumps for Cummins, Caterpillar, John Deere, Mac, I believe. They're pretty, uh, pretty big in the, in the industry as far as building automotive parts. So the issue is some of these water pumps were built without weep holes. That's a small hole drilled between the two bearings in the uh, water pump housing. Now this is a typical water pump here. This is not necessarily a Cummins exact replica here, but uh, it's very similar. But what you have is a, a grease sealed bearing. The old bearings used to have Zert fittings on them back pre-1960s or so you could actually put a grease gun on it but now they're like most bearings on vehicles they're just a sealed bearing and then on the other side you have the coolant on the left side that blue part is the, the coolant and there's a seal there also well that weep hole is between those two areas now if you had a leak either way if you had grease coming out of the out of the grease bearing it would have a place to go through that little weep hole without getting into the coolant or which is more typical if you have a coolant leak coming from the coolant side of the engine and it's leaking through that seal well it'll go out that weep hole and the driver will know that he's got a water pump that needs to be changed but it also will keep the coolant from being forced into that bearing and causing that bearing to run with fluid in it and possibly locking up that bearing. So as long as the seals are holding as they should on this water pump, there is no problem even without the weep hole. But all, as I say, all water pumps should have a weep hole and that's the reason why. And that's the reason for the recall and if your truck doesn't have a, a weep hole on the water pump, well, you'll be getting a new water pump. And we'll take a look at some actual water pumps here in a second, and I'll show you where the weep hole is on the newer trucks. But anyway, that's the purpose of that little void spot in that housing. It's just that somebody forgot to drill a hole in it. But these water pumps won't be available until next year sometime, I guess, Ram is sourcing them out right now. I don't know if they're if Concentric can't build them quick enough to replace a half a million, or just what the what the logistics of it is. But uh, nonetheless, there needs to be a weep hole there, and there will be when you uh, get your new one. So let's take a look, and uh, you can actually see your. Uh, we pull from the top on these new trucks. Some, some of the other V12 
vehicles have them underneath where you can't really see it very easily. But uh, the concentric brand Cummins for the Cummins, uh, if you take a flashlight and shine it down from the top, you'll be able to tell pretty easily whether your truck has a weep hole or not. You can also chase down part numbers and stuff, but I really don't think that's necessary. So here's an actual picture of my truck, my water pump. And you can see that there's no weep hole there. There should be right in that area there of where that red hour is at. Now, if you have a 2017 that was built after February, it's going to look like this because they're not in the recall. And you can see that little hole there. And that's that little void spot that I was speaking of, which is what allows either grease or coolant, but mostly coolant, to uh, leak out of there instead of being forced into that bearing. But that's the deal as I know it on these water pumps, guys, these T this T51 recall. I did some research on it and called Cummins, who wasn't any help. I called a deal, they weren't any help. But this is, this is what I come up with, and I hope this helps kind of clarify this, this recall, and until next time, adios.